Hello everyone, this is Tech Me Out here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my top six games from the App Store. Now these are just a few games that I personally enjoy in hopes that you may also enjoy them as well. First up, we have Bubble Galaxy. Now, in order for you to play the game, you do have to play against someone and you do have a few options for that, such as playing with someone from your contacts, playing with a random person, having a rematch with someone you played before, searching for someone by their username, or playing with someone locally, as in somebody sitting next to you and you're passing your device back and forth between the two of you. So this isn't a game that you can play on your own and you do have to have an opponent. After you've chosen your selected method of play, then you'll choose a mission, and each mission is a planet, and on each planet you have three objectives. So you can swap back and forth between these planets by simply swiping your finger, and it'll let you know which ones you've unlocked and which ones you have not unlocked. So I'm just going to find a mission that I want to do now and select it. So I think I'm going to go for this one here. Select play. Then you're going to be taken to a screen where you can select your power up. You have three options and each level has, of course, more power ups. So just choose which one you want and you can also choose your character. But I believe you have to pay for certain characters or you have to unlock certain planets to have those characters. But the objective of the game is to launch the balls that the monkey is holding down here at the bottom as quickly and accurately as possible to match the color up top. So if I have a yellow ball, then I have to match it with the yellow balls up top. And you want to group three of them together in order for them to be eliminated from above you. The concept actually reminds me a lot of another game called Zuma, for those of you that are familiar with it. Because basically the same objective on this game is on that one as well. But overall, I really enjoy this game. As you can see, I'm launching the balls up and occasionally I'll get one of my power ups as well to launch off. So that will vary depending upon which power up package you choose. Next up, we have badly drawn faces. And the objective is to guess what face is being drawn before it is finished being drawn. So this one to me looks like Rick Ross. So I'm gonna check and see if my answer is correct. And it seems that it wasn't. So you do also have the option to get a hint. And you can get a hint by feeding the creature a fish. And then he'll give you a series of hints. I think you get up to three. So I think this one's Kanye West. So let me try that one. And I'm correct. But that's the gist of the game. It's nothing really extensive. It's just kind of a great time passer, I suppose. You can get help from the creature, as you saw before. Or you can ask your friends. You gain your points pretty much by guessing the face correctly and you can get bonus points by doing it quickly as in doing it before the image is finished being drawn on your screen. Something that I like about this particular game is that it is optimized for the iPhone 5. So it takes full advantage of the large screen and the retina display. So that's a plus for me in reference to this game in particular for all you iPhone 5 users out there. For my third game, I have Anger of Stick 3 Invasion. And this one is pretty much a fighting game. You have this stick man figure here, and I'm showing you the buttons and what each one does now, but once he starts running and he gets moving, he runs into a few enemies that he has to fight. And with the selection of different buttons, you get different combo moves. And there is a tutorial within the game itself where you can find out all these combo moves but it's like 22 different combo moves and i did not remember all of them so i'm just pretty much pressing buttons but i have the gist of what each one does i'm just hoping to land a, a nice slick move as i'm demonstrating this but i enjoyed this game it was pretty fun uh, beating up these random stick figures as I run down the sidewalk of a random street. There weren't any uh, other challenges I found in the game as far as things that I had to do other than beat these enemies that I keep running into. I guess the challenging part comes into play when you probably have a large number of them trying to attack you. But overall, I enjoyed the game and I, I think it was pretty interesting to see the different combo moves and see how the anger of the stick can be. So my fingers are going like frantically trying to figure out what to do. But that's all for this one, really. 
Next, we have one of my personal favorites, and that is Diner Dash. I really think I enjoy this game so much because it is a strategy game. And there are different versions of Diner Dash. There's Hotel Dash, Wedding Dash, a whole bunch of different options. However, the one I play is Diner Dash. And you have a few objectives that you have to meet when doing each level. But the gist of the game is to seat the people according to their color in order to gain the most points. So if you have someone in a purple suit, you want to sit them in a purple chair, yellow suit, yellow chair, and the gray is for any color. And once you have seated these customers, then when they raise their hand, you have to go and take their order and take it back to the selected position that it's supposed to be in. And I'm doing that now by grabbing these two orders. Let me grab that order and take it over here. I actually have uh, six guests waiting now to be seated. And I have taken that table and put, in, put a group of four there once the food is made you then have to deliver the food and then after you deliver the food you have to clean up the food and then collect the money from your guest now while you're doing all of this you also have to make sure those hearts that are at the bottom of the customers remain as high as possible because once it drops down then the customers get upset you start seeing smoke above their heads and they probably will leave or you won't meet your mission or you won't make enough money for the day in addition to that there's a store that that the character that is the waitress can go to and she can buy different power-ups or different things to help her move faster throughout the day. But that's really the gist of Diner Dash. I did not do well on this level because I just mainly wanted to show you how it works. Next we have Knots. Now this to me is like the finger version of Twister because the object is that when a dot appears, you need to place your finger on it and hold it there. And when it disappears, you have to remove your finger from that dot. So I'm going to demonstrate that now by placing my finger on this dot. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of hard to demonstrate because I have to use more than one finger, but I'm gonna do my best here. But you place your finger on the dot, then a series of circles will appear around the dot. Once it appears around the dot, you then have to lift your finger from that dot in particular, but leave it on the other dot. Now I know it might sound a little confusing, but I hope that in me demonstrating it, that you can kind of see the strategy behind it all. And it does get a little bit more tricky because you then start to use more than two fingers. You find yourself using three or four. And another fun feature of the game is that you can also play against a friend. So if you have a friend nearby that you want to challenge, then it makes the game that much more interesting to have not only your fingers trying to find a circle and do whatever, but their fingers trying to do the same thing as well at the same time as yours. And last but certainly not least, we have Angry Grand Run. This is one of my favorites. Now watch this intro alone. This grandma just straight up darts out of the angry asylum. I just found that hilarious. And then the music to top it off was just a nice accent to gameplay. So it's pretty much like Temple Run. Um, I know a lot of you might be familiar with that particular game, but for those of you that are not, the gist of it is you have to jump or slide under these different obstacles as well as turn left or right down different streets in order to get to the next part of the game. You can also tilt your device to bash the people out in the street. What you wanna do, as I stated, is jump over different things that come in your way or if it's at an elevated level, then you're going to want to slide down under it. But I enjoyed this game, and I think that probably had a lot to do with the music alone and the fact that it's a angry grandma. I just found that kind of amusing. It's a nice alternative to Temple Run because that's another game that I enjoyed a lot. If you aren't familiar with that, definitely check that one out as well. But that does sum up my top five games. I hope you enjoyed some of these, downloaded some of these. And if you did, and even if you did not, please drop that down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts because I do enjoy interacting with y'all and getting some feedback from all of you. If you enjoyed this video, I simply want to be awesome and show your support. Please do so by hitting that thumbs up button. That one small action really helps my channel out a great deal and I For am the much 
support. And if you haven't subscribed, please take the time out to do so now. That way you can stay updated on all the latest content that I release. And if you want to stay even more in touch with me, you can follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, or even check out my random pictures of the day on Instagram. All at Tech Me Out. That's T E C H M E Zero U T. Please continue to provide your awesome support and spread the word for my channel. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.